So I started this nursery program years ago, mostly out of uh, frustration of watching all the corals dying. The, the reefs were just crumbling and dying in, in, in front of my eyes. I was making a living tropical fish collecting and tropical fish don't have to have live coral, but they do a lot better. There's a lot more of them when there's live coral around. And I realized my livelihood was at stake. I decided that uh, I was gonna see if I could do something about it. And I tried a variety of things. I worked with sea urchins, um, different things like that. And then this idea of, of growing corals and putting them back on the reef evolved out of a 4-H project with my daughters. And once we started growing corals to the size that they could go on the reef, I really had this thought, this passion, like could we actually put them on the reef and would they live? And so I approached the sanctuary about it the National Marine Sanctuary Program and asked, hey, could I put these corals on the reef? And they said, well, that's really exciting, but nobody's ever come to us with that question before and we don't have a way of letting you do it. Uh, so uh, we found a way to put some corals on the reef and that was kind of like the turning point of my whole career with corals. I went from trying to be a coral farmer to where I grow corals and sell them to the aquarium trade to being a coral nursery manager to being growing corals to put on the reef. Once I started growing corals to put them on the reef, I realized this is a whole lot more exciting than anything I've ever done. This is making a difference. This is, this is so powerful. It wasn't about the money anymore. It was about making a difference. And I always thought, yes, I can. There's got to be a way to do it.